Okay, guys, welcome to Whiskey with Whitaker, I suppose, the introductions. I did a short little video and sent it out to a handful of folks to take a look at and got some pretty good feedback, so I've decided to go ahead and do this. Um, so we're, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot, see how it works out. I had some questions about a few things. I've turned my camera around, so instead of facing my inside of the living room, you're looking out over Town Creek. You can see some cars going by. So Town Creek right here goes out into the intercoastal waterway right to the Sound and past Atlantic Beach and into the ocean. Uh, literally go around the back of the house around here. It's about quarter of a mile to the ocean here from Town Creek. On the other side of Town Creek past that highway where you see the cars going is the Michael J. Smith Airfield. It's a pretty busy airfield. Uh, Michael J. Smith is a local guy who they named the airport after. He was the, I'll have to double check on whether he was the captain, I believe he was the pilot of the Space Shuttle Challenger. So they um, named the field after him. Whiskey with Whitaker here. I'm still trying to figure out this camera, boys and girls. It's hard to figure out which way to go here. This uh, whiskey um, bottle was given to me by my beautiful wife, Rachel. So thank you very much for that. I've got a couple of these, actually. Um, so when I get done aging my whiskey in my whiskey barrel, I put it into my Whitaker's Realty decanter. Uh, which clearly I'm going to need to start another bottle of whiskey brewing here. So if you did watch the last video, you know that that is a $15 a gallon cheap whiskey that I put in this barrel to brew. I've had a couple of questions about the barrel, and thanks to Dave Brokeman for this barrel. So let me show that to you. Now, this does have two T's into it, but we'll, uh, we'll give them a break because actually in North Carolina, there's a lot of Whitakers with two T's, so we'll, we'll let that one slide. Not like he couldn't have called his sister and asked her how to spell her name, but whatever. Whitakers Barrel Aged Whiskey, Beaufort, North Carolina, established, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, 2020. I don't think I can get it pointed at the camera. So that's my barrel that I age my whiskey in and the last time was a super cheap bottle of whiskey just for trying and to see how it worked and it works really really good um, you age it for a week test it age it for two weeks test it three four five and it's supposed to age in that small barrel about ten times the speed that it ages in the big 55 gallon barrels so uh, next bottle of whiskey that we're going to try, that we're going to try and age, is the Cask Strength Maker's Mark, um, batch 2101, 110 proof. We're going to try to barrel age this for a little bit for our next episodes of Whiskey with Whitaker. That's what we'll be drinking. In the Red Solo Cup, because the glasses are in Nebraska still, and I'm in North Carolina, uh, that does look a lot better out there, even though it's traffic lights and um, street lights than looking inside the house. So hopefully the view is a little bit better. The weather warms up a little bit more. Uh, hopefully I'll take this outside and you'll have a whole lot better. Even better yet, if I can get closed on the house down here uh, and take you out to the dock and set on the dock and do it from there. A couple guys at work talking today. Uh, one of them brought up that that saying that's either redone to fit or misquoted, whatever it is. I don't remember the guy's, I don't know how to say the guy's name. I had to look it up because I couldn't remember. Uh, Tennyson or whatever his name was. He was the one, and that was a Crimean, Russian War, whatever, that said, theirs is not to wonder why, theirs is to do or die do and die, I think is what he said. And so uh, one of the guys at work was saying, well, mine's not to question why. And the other guy a answered back, cut him off and says, you know, I absolutely hate that line. If you're going to say that, at least make it something good like 
Mine is not to question why. Mine is to drink scotch and rye. And I thought, now how absolutely perfectly fitting. I've been looking for an opening line on whiskey with Whitaker. And how about, mine is not to question why. Mine is to drink scotch and rye. Rather fitting. So we'll do some. So we're going to just sit down and we're going to chat. i got a couple um, people lined up to come on. My first guest coming on tomorrow night. We're going to just sit down and visit and have a virtual whiskey together. We're going to sit down, have a drink, and have a conversation, whatever it may be about. We can talk about anything, everything, whatever's on our mind, whatever the topic of the day might be. We're going to post it up there on YouTube, and I'm getting a call from the wife right now. Um, we're going to post it up there on YouTube for everybody to um, take a look at. I'm going to shut off comments on it. I'm absolutely more than welcoming comments. However, if you're going to comment on a video, on a topic, on something that we talked about, the only way that you get to comment on it is to come on live and talk about it. Uh, and so that's how we're going to take comments on that. We're going to shut the comments off. You won't be able to type in your comment on on the YouTube channel, you're going to have to call, text, email, Facebook me, and get on the next one, tell me what you want to talk about, and that's how we're going to take comments on that. So we'll put it up there. Uh, who knows how the conversation's going to be. I'm going to mark these not safe for children because who knows how they're going to turn out. Um, but anyway, I look forward to seeing you out there. Look forward to, to having you on and to having a virtual whiskey with you, and hopefully I'll see you soon.